Who would have thought the hardest part of this build is right now me talking to the camera? I will not lie, this is like the 10th attempt to try and film this. I don't know why, I cannot get my words out. But nonetheless, as you saw from the title above, um, building a climbing frame, this video is gonna probably span across multiple videos because it's not a case of just going, Psh, done, I'm gonna be adding to it or waiting for parts to turn up. But nonetheless, I'm gonna build a climbing frame. It's a project I've been putting off for a fair bit, not because I don't wanna do it, it's because climbing frames cost time and money and I didn't have either. Now we've got the money, cause thanks to the grandparents, thank you grandparents, um, who said, we'll chuck in, get Jess one built. Because obviously we're in lockdown at the moment. We're not sending Jess back to school anytime soon. So a climbing frame will be ideal, plus summer's on its way. So the time is now for the climbing frame. The second thing I needed was time itself. Now. I don't have time because work is blowing up and um, so I'm just constantly at the computer and, I, and Joe was like well if you can't build it we'll buy it and then obviously you can just build it a day project and that's it it's not going to take you too much time and I didn't want to do that because I've always wanted to build a climbing frame a wicked climbing frame so I was like go on then go on to Amazon and give me an idea how much it's going to cost us. So then Joe came back with this and there is multiple climbing frames around about this size and always around about this price tag. So we're looking at 600 pounds for this climbing frame. Now I'm not gonna sit here and bash it because it looks a really nice climbing frame. But the trouble is one, it's 600 pounds and I think I can do a hell of a lot better for 600 pounds. But on top of it, it's not that big. It looks it, but it isn't. Um, Jess is five years old and she's quite tall kid. So looking at this, one of the towers are one and a half meters. And then the actual shed is half that size. So it's only going to be 75 centimetres. You can't swing a cat in there. And if I'm building this for Jess, I want it to last her more than a year or two. And also, I'm playing in this bloody thing. It's a climbing frame. I'm going to be all over it. So we need a climbing frame that can take me, can last Jess a long time, and also just take the weight of a stupid adult. Because stupid adults weigh more than normal adults. Normal adult, adults will just walk across a climbing frame. Stupid ones will bound across it and swing on it. I'm the stupid one, so it needs to take my weight. So anyway, this is gonna be the plan. This tower is about a meter and a half. These are gonna be about just shy of a meter and a half, but the entire tower itself is gonna eventually turn into like the shed that sits on the top of it. So we're gonna get two towers for the price. We're gonna get a nice cool bridge that goes across it, monkey bars, and a bunch of ways to actually climb into this thing. So this is a mock-up that I've done a second time around because I did it once and then I forgot to save. So I luckily enough have a screenshot of what I did originally before I deleted it. So as you can see, this is the actual structure itself is a hell of a lot taller than the other one. It is a normal human and it's already coming up to there. Then on top of it, the human's got to get on there and climb under it. So I want it to be able to take my height as such. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go with the roof mainly because this entire structure comes past three meters. So I got a piece of wood, I went outside, I stood it up and went, that's how big three meters is. And it's quite hard to gauge how much of an eyesore that will actually be, being three meters tall or not. So I've decided, decided to put these two and a half, 2.8 meter posts into the ground, and then we're gonna either chop them off and call it a day, or we're gonna add to it and add a roof, depending. So I'll build the old structure, then I'll actually clamp in some pieces of wood so I can get an idea of how tall this roof will be. And then I can make my decision to continue building or not. So we've got at the bottom of these towers as well, one I'm gonna encase inside wood, add a door, a couple of windows, so Jess has got somewhere to actually go inside and hide in there. Now this one, we're gonna turn into a sank sand pit. So that's gonna be lower in the ground, but then with a trap door that lands on the top, Mainly reason I want the trapdoor on there is come winter, we can hide it because you don't use a sandpit in winter. But mainly every night we can shut the lid because the cats will shit in it. So that's the main reason for building that. Obviously a swing, bunch of monkey bars. But more than anything, um, we've got a nice big slide instead of just the normal standard size ones. Um, but I don't want Jess to be able to just go down the slide and just keep doing that over and over again. So there's going to be no way to get into this structure from the left hand side. So on the right, we're going to have three ways of getting in. First is going to be a set of normal stairs. Then on the side is going to be a set of ladders. And then on the back is going to be like a rock climbing frame to be able to get up to it. The reason I've gone with normal stairs, though, is I have also thought about 
come winter, this climbing frame could be wet and slippery. So have a easy way for her to get in with a handrail for the winter. And then for the summer, she can obviously go around the more complex way. So after about three days of waiting, the timber has now finally turned up. Ignore that, it's a fire pit. And then we've got the post there. Now, the idea, bear in mind I'm a bit groggy this morning. I've just woke up your first person to talk to. <laughs> We're gonna to have to clear the area, but I wanted to build the towers on a flat surface, lift them up, drop them in, and then I can just check if the ground is level. But I'm gonna have a feeling that making a tower will be too heavy. So we're gonna have a cup of coffee, contemplate about it, and then make a decision. That's gonna be the weight of most of it. Our second issue is I ordered some 150mm and 100mm screws and they gave me two sets of 150mm screws and as you can see it bites past the block so they're too big for what I need. Uh, these are going to be designed to actually go in to hold the bridge from a different angle so I didn't need two boxes of them so we may need to go to screw fix. So about four seconds into this project I just cracked my skull already. Right, I've decided I'm going to cut these up, make a square frame, then I can put that in the ground and try and level it, take it back out, then put the poles in. Not the easiest way of doing it, but I think the least problematic way for me. So that gives you a taste of how big a tower is going to be. <laughs> That's big. So these are 120 centimetres and these are 129.2 centimetres. So obviously I can't for the width on the end. And I've just measured them up and it seems to be pretty square. So we're going to screw that in. Just been back from screw fix. Much better. I've got in jar, I've cup of tea. Oh, coffee, I won't moan at that. So I'm using these screws, don't go too far in. I'm tacking these into here so we can just pick the frame up, put it down, level it. Then when it's all done, we we'll use some of the big bad screws because I don't know what I'm screwing into yet. So we just need to tack it. Obviously I'm going to need to level that, but before I do, I want to build the second one in and then connect a level to both of them and work out which one needs to go down and up and then we can dial it all in. Once it's done, we can start connecting them. And it should also give us an idea how big the actual bridge between the two are going to be because I haven't decided. Right, I've just changed my mind. Instead of tacking them in, I'm actually doing it a bit more permanent there. I'm using these decking screws that I've got going spare, um, mainly because that's wobbling a little bit. Not a problem. Once we sink these into it, it's going to stop the wobble, but I might as well throw them in. I've got the screws and it's just making it a bit more sturdy. So I haven't got a chance of accidentally twisting one of the pieces of wood when it comes to screwing it in properly.
Well, that's the best part of three hours. Wasted. Well, not wasted. It needs to be done. But it's now levelled. It took a long time because that won't be level or that be level or it's fun levelling things. But both of them are level and they're level to each other as well. So now we can start building up. Yes, darling. Yeah. What do you have for me? Oh, nice one, Jess. Where do you want me to put it? Can you give it me? Thank you, darling. Are you excited? Yeah. It's going to be wicked, isn't it? Dad, look, the wood's all the way to the top of that tree. It is to the top of the tree. What can we need this little? What's this little piece? I don't know, darling. Oh, that you have a tiny. I'm inside it. That you have a tiny little hammer, don't ya? I do. Then we maybe that could like, my dogs could like run down that, could not <laughs> You want to get job that? Yeah. And guess what? I have a drink too. <laughs> you have a drink too. You're living the dream. Very much. Oh, we've got a little help in there. Hey. Jessica's helping us. So, yeah, we're going to get this post screwed in. Um, and I'm going to use these 150mm ones, the ones that I said that was too big. Because, obviously, when I screw their tin, it's going to stick past the post. Um, but it's not a problem. I might as well try and use them to get rid of them and save the ones that I need. Um, because there's going to be a fake floor on this. Uh, well, not a fake floor, a real floor. I don't know why I said fake, but there'll be a floor on it. So, mm. with them protruding out of there it's not going to be a problem because something will sit on top of it so we're going to use a couple of these you best be excited for this kid i am right so i've got the second post in there and just worked out if that's the right angle for the slide it is hooray so we're going to get the other two back in and then start doing the middle supports and maybe even the top supports see how much wiggles in it and then we can work out what we need to fix Right, we've got all four in place at the moment and we're just marking up the location for the second floor which should be 120 centimeters off the ground because that's apparently ideal angle for the slide so we're gonna make a bunch more brackets chuck them on and see what it looks like with the level one level two i never understand level one two and ground floors but nonetheless one higher than the bottom one Text Joe, can I have a cup of tea? Okay, I'll send this. Wow, the second I press record is the second you crack your head. Okay. 
Right, Jess, go and run and go and get your dad. And you got your hard hat? Yeah. Come show him. Stand in front of the camera so they can see your hard hat. Stand there. There you go. You're ready, aren't you? Yeah. Right. Go under. Go under. Right, you can stand on it now, look. You can stand. There. Don't worry, you'll have a fence to hold on to. You good? Yeah, I'm gonna go over for one more. Alright, said you wanna try it. I'm gonna have a try. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Bye, my hard hat! <laughs> Don't worry about your hard hat. Alright. You gonna go down it? Yeah. Woo! It is now day two. Got a coffee on the go. And that's as far as we got yesterday. I didn't film the rest of it because it was identical to that and I was starting to ache and I'm still aching now. <laughs> but we're gonna try and get the bridge in, the sides in that hold it and potentially the monkey bars over here and then start actually building in the sides. Also, we've got our first casualty, we broke a clamp. Very sad day, gonna lay it to rest. God bless you clamp, you was good to me. Can't do that with one hand, yeah I can. Obviously it rained last night. Well, I don't know about obvious. So everything's wet. Awesome. <laughs> all right, so they're all in. And this is pretty sad now. It's going to be even better once them two are holding each other as well. So we're going to do the bridge. Um, I'm just working out how wide apart the bridge is actually going to be. But this seems good. I don't know what the measurement is. I haven't tried it. And I've just trod on one of these and there's no flex in it. So I'm happy to um, do it that width. Whereas these, obviously, when I run the boards across it, it's going to be flex. So I'm going to have to put support beams in. But this looks like it won't need it. Right, I've just mocked this up. I was going to do this at 60, and then I realised the fence is going to attach on the inside of the bridge, which means, yes, this is 60, but your gap is now 50. So I just want to see how much space that actually gives an adult. That means we've got to go climbing. Yeah, even big bombs will get through that. I'm just checking how level these are now because they are pretty perfect, but if there's any tilt, I can correct it now by pulling one side to the other. So I'm just making sure it's all perfect. That's pretty much bang on anyway.
So now it's contemplation time. I over ordered these posts because I didn't know if I'm gonna have to have one here for the banister to connect across. I'm pretty confident I don't, but either way, to get that banister up, I need to work out first where this is going because if it's too low, you'll bang your head when you go under it. If it's too high, it'll look silly. So I'm just gonna get that sweet spot. And then from there, we can work out where it's gonna go there and then put the banister across and obviously work all the way around. So we're gonna start working on the second level now. That's what we're gonna go with, 90. Um, mainly because it comes up to about my stomach. So it's good enough for an adult not to fall over. So it's super safe for kids, but it also needs to be wide enough for us to get under because I'm obviously going to put a couple of panels there and a couple of panels there so you need a little gap to slide out of so I think that's going to be the sweet spot and obviously once we've done that we can work all the way across to here and then from wherever that finishes that's where the monkey bars are going to be oh in fact that's where the monkey bars are going to be let me see how high that is for it to grab Probably too well, it is too high for her to grab, but one, she can't grab hold of it yet anyway because she's too young. Um, so, this climbing frame is something she can grow into, but also the swing is going to go from that height. So, if it's too low for her to monkey bar now, she can't swing. So, again, get in that middle ground. Let me just try the swing on it. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Obviously, it's going to go over there, and I'll probably need to put it a bit lower for her to start off with, but it can be adjusted once it's up anyway. So, yeah, this is looking good. Right, them three are in. So this is now the question time. I'm gonna run a bracket across here so I can rest the top bracket, which would connect to this, on it, because there's gonna to have to be a gap in it, isn't there? If you're gonna cross the bridge, you can't have a bar all the way across, so it's gonna to have to come here, stop, here, and stop. Well, where it stops, I'm gonna to have to run one across here. Now, I don't know if that is gonna to wobble too much. If it does, we can put another post in, I've got it. So we're gonna try it, see how bad it is, and then correct it if need be. Right, so that's the block we've just built. And obviously we wanna attach one of them to that, but up here. So the question is, will this flex and wobble if I put two in? I think it might, but it's then gonna have a bunch of these attached to it, which is also gonna have stability. Oh, hello. What we got here? Are you the uh, boss coming to check up on the progress? Um, I just came to see how the playground is doing. How the play? How's the playground doing? Very good, Dad. Very good. I like how you're doing. We're it. gonna get a high five for it. They are absolutely solid. So yeah, more than happy with that, which is good. That means I ain't got to run another post up there. It does mean I've potentially got four of these going spare, but that's gonna go for a project over there and that's for another day. Well, everything is now wet through. We had a massive downpour that just lasted like four minutes. That's, that's it over there. And now we've got lovely blue skies, but everything is now wet. Awesome. Where's the wood? Here you go. Alright, come over here. Yeah. You've got to push the water. Yeah. You gonna do it? Push it. Right, we keep fighting this blue sky and rain clouds. Can't make its mind up, so I've ran in. Again, but either way, we've got the post in there. So we now wanna work out the size of that. So we've actually got a banister. I've not done this bit, mainly because there's a set of stairs going up here. I don't know how wide they're gonna be. So I don't know how wide the gap's gotta be. We'll sort that out later. Right, and that's where we're gonna call it a day. Um, mainly because I'm actually on day three right now. It's looking good. Um, but the only trouble is every time there's a bit of sun, I run out, do a bit more work, 
do some filming. So I've just edited it together and I can't really find a, a nice way to end it without going into the next part of the project, which is another six more videos and then next minute will be 45 minutes long. So I'm gonna love you and leave you there. Fingers crossed I'll edit another one within the next two, three days, all depending. If I can get out there and do some work, I'll film more. If it rains, I'll come in and edit more. So weather depending. But thank you very much for watching. Cheers, bye.